Hi Tim, I'm going to show you how to hide assignments. So here we are on our website and I am set up as, I'm not viewing as a learner, I'm viewing as a changer, a teacher. I go to the content, it's taken my computer a little bit of time here, and uh, this is the faculty only page, so I'm going to click course content and I'm going to look at issue one. When I click it over here, that gives me all of issue one here on the right. If I scroll down, here's week one, and down here, there's week two. So you'll have two writing assignments here. This is the first one, and this is the second one. So what I'm going to do is show you how to hide it. You click this drop-down menu, choose Edit Properties in Place, and then click this little eyeball. So visibility it's giving me, it says it's showing. I want to click this part so that it's not showing. Then I'm done with that, and I'm going to come down to your other one. Week 2 writing assignment. Oops, I clicked on it. I didn't mean to. I could have edited the properties in place. I'm going to... I didn't mean to do that. But there's a visibility button here too, so I'll click that. And now it's not showing. Let me just go back to issue one. And you'll see now that this assignment is hidden from students, not from us, but from students. And so is that one. So remember, if you click this drop down menu, and choose Edit Properties in Place, you can do this all on the same page. If you accidentally click the underlined writing, the title of it, then it'll take you to another page like it did me, and uh, you can change it there too. It's just easier on one page. I'll demonstrate doing Issue 2, and then you can go through and do Issues 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here is edit properties in place. I'm going to hide it. Click. I'm going to go down to week two. Edit properties in place. Click the eyeball. Hide it. All right. Does that make sense? I hope so.